Coming up next, the book and it wraps up their discussion on Monster in the Hollows. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Welcome to Booking It, everybody. We're four Christian homeschoolers discuss books. I'm your humble, eloquent host, Cooper Cobbs. Isaiah just yeehawed over there. <laughs> we'll leave it on for <laughs> we, you. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll leave it on. There's Matthew over there. Howdy. And there's Tanner. Yo, guys. Cooper just said oh, just yeah. there's Tanner. I mean, that makes me feel very... But, un- and there's Tanner. Is that is that what you want me to do now? <laughs> I don't know. It... it that felt better than what you just said, but it you doesn't know what? matter. Just I'll, keep I'll do that next episode, first time. Just give you self-esteem points. <laughs> yes, for <laughs> okay. all of you that did not know, that is a very um, real thing in our class. A very real Isaiah, thing. We've got Isaiah, we've got Matthew, we've got... And there's Tanner! <laughs> That's what I'm going to do next time. <laughs> okay, okay, enough with great. me, enough about me. Continue. <laughs> oh, well, fellas, how was your... How was your week been? Because <laughs> I just voice cracked. Um, how's your week been, guys? Wink, wink. Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, it's been. It's we been haven't good. really done it yet. It has been <laughs> great. It it will be great. Um, the Mandalorian uh, season two will have come out by now. We will have had. You mean, watched, you mean, two you mean it was so great? We already saw the first couple episodes. It's been that's great. Right, that's right. Well, yeah. guess what? It's gonna. Well, come guess out what, like, Matthew? What, two weeks I'm, after. Back yeah. to the future. I'm here I and you're no there. Fr- no okay, school on so Thursday. you can just act like that the entire, the entire time. All right, guys. Well. Do we have any more banner we want to get out of the way before we talk about Monster and Hollows? We we decided not to we decided not to bore you guys with our fantasy league this week, so you're welcome for that. That's right. <laughs> yeah. We we realize people probably aren't that interested. So no, it's okay. even though I have to go hey. up against Isaiah this week. But you know guys, you know what they are interested in? Monster, Monster and the, in the Hollows. Hollows. Hey, it was smooth. it was a good book. Right there. Real good. Yeah. Real good. I, I had to. I had to do it both times. I'm sorry. You I had, had to do it. I know. That's so good. That's like my you favorite quote. <laughs> Matthew's gonna use it. He's like, "Ain't my favorite word." Real good. My second favorite word. Well, <laughs> even though it's two words. My second hey, favorite. What's the guy's correct. name? Hey, hey correct. Gild- correct mm-hmm. pronunciation and grammar. Real good phrase. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's true. I should have said phrase. Matthew, what are you gonna say? Oh. Uh, I, I love uh, Guildmaster O'Sally's name is Biggin, like with no G. It's Biggin. <laughs> oh yeah, like oh, I say- named, I literally named a fish that one time. <laughs> Wait, what? Ten- technically, my friend named it, but yes, we we got this huge bass, and we were like, "That's a Biggin." <sighs> I thought you said fist. Oh, you you said fish. Oh, <laughs> I heard fish. Well, my fist too. <laughs> Matthew's fist is now named a big N. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the the right one, obviously. Um, Why is we that said, obvious? So we, I, don't, I have no idea. I just felt like saying obviously. <laughs> the other one's Litton. Um, anyway. What did you guys think about Guildmaster Clout? We talked about the other couple Guildmasters. We didn't talk about Guildmaster Clout. What yes, I love him? I love him. He's basically a football coach. He's yeah, He I knows mean, what he's exactly. talking about, but he's stern, and he actually right. really likes the kids, but he has to hide it he to be tough on them right. so they can be <laughs> really right. good. He's always fair. Yep. Yeah. Carrying a big stick I around like a man. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I... <laughs> Oh, I I really liked the one scene where they kind of outsmarted him with the basket game um, by teaming up. Oh, the basket up. game was one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, what, was it? It was Joe Bill, right? Not, yeah, not Joe Bill. Bill. Joe. It was <laughs> Joe. <laughs> the names are amazing in this in this book. Uh, so there's Joe Bill, Kalmar, and uh, Jan are all teamed up, and they were playing this game where they had to sneak an apple from an apple tree and put it in a basket without. Uh, oh yeah. Him without him hitting them with a stick and um so they all teamed up and they almost got it and he said it was the closest that it had ever been but then he kind of like pretended that they did terrible so but then they got to yeah. go without running any laps so it was pretty good yeah and then then rudrick was like and then rudrick comes in and he's like and wow black. hard not to look good in black <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so i want to start off this podcast by talking about the further fate of sarah cobbla yeah okay so this, these are some Ooh. of my favorite chapters 
Oh, oh well, yeah. Speaking Tanner. of Tanner. Oh, Tanner's yeah. cheer. <laughs> <laughs> that joke really played well last week. Yes, it did. Oh, that was great. We it's got like two weeks ten ago. extra views for it. Anyway, then our guys it was two weeks ago. Think? He's recording this in a week. It's coming out in two. Oh, weeks whatever. Now, so three weeks ago. No, it two came out right. Two weeks ago. No, it came out like. Oh, that's true. You're right. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's true. I'm always. The timeline is so weird. Isaiah, Isaiah's got timeline instead. Anyway, what do you guys think about the further fate of Sarah Cobbler? The chapter or just, like, the whole thing uh, about going back and forth every five um, chapters? Yeah, let's do just the whole thing. I don't yeah. think... I, I really thought... I, I liked that. Because uh, once um, Janner started talking to Artham about it and saying, like, when you go back to Scree, I was, I was like, maybe they're going to do a chapter about Artham going and rescuing everyone, including Sarah Cobbler. But this yeah. is a little different than what I was expecting, and it's basically Sarah Cobbler starting a revolution in the right. Fork Factory. And it's pretty interesting because, like, every five or so chapters, they'll go back to it and do a short little chapter about what's going on there. And she's made some friends, and it's just really cool to read about uh, stuff from the last book because, really, that's the only similar thing from the last book other than, obviously, like, the con- consistent the, fame. The main and characters. Whatnot. But like, that's right. Yeah, but, like, all the other main character, all the other side main characters are different from the side main characters in the last book. You know what I'm saying? True. Like Merrily and all the other stranders and uh they gone. Yeah. Now <laughs> now it's like Rudric and the gr- ground witch and all them Boniface. Yeah. Boniface squid. It I is like interesting this. to me. It is interesting to me how they keep Oscar there the whole time. I like it, but it's it's definitely different. You know that there's oh, yeah. like a, just a random guy who doesn't really have any importance with like Anir or anything that he was just an old friend from their town. Yeah. And he just traveled yeah. with them this whole way. I thought that was kind of cool. That's and basically, point. the only thing he ever says is "in the woods." Oh, yeah, yes. that's true. That's pretty yes. much all he he's ever like, says now. He's like that guy, or that uh, not that guy, the girl from um, *Wrinkle in Time*, who always just quotes oh. people. Have you read that? Oh yeah, that, well, yeah. That yeah that except he goes too. in the words of this random king over in this country. Ask yeah. your mother. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. <laughs> it's so great. All right, sorry, Tanner. We interrupted you. What were you gonna say? Yeah, I like this segment. It's very um. Uh, I liked how we get to look back into um, what's happening back in Scree, just like this kind of telescopic type of view where we're like looking back over the sea again. And it's just, I like it, except I just kind of wish we didn't really have that except for like the obviously extremely necessary parts for like um, uh, Artham and such. Because, but I will elaborate on why so in the final closing thoughts episode. Because it will be so in the closing thoughts episode. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh yeah! It's just because of some stuff that happens in the war in the Wolf King that makes me a little bit sad. But yeah, oh, there's a word in Wolf King. Yeah. <laughs> Had to bring yeah. that up. Yep. That's right. Uh, start a counter. It's one time. Sorry, that, that uh, was kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Start, start a tally mark. Give us the, give us the end tally mark at the end. Got it. Um. What what else should we talk about? What's what's up next? I can't, we kind of blended everything together. In the last, we talk about, last oh, week, yeah. Let's talk about the library of Ban Ronan. What did you guys think about the creepy librarian? It's, it was kind of majestic, and then there's that weird librarian. <laughs> kind of creepy. Yeah. Being funny, so obvi- no woman. Obviously, we don't need help. Obviously, us being book loving people, we would all extremely love to be in that specific place. Just. Yep. I love the first description where we have because you don't really get this um at anywhere else in the entire series, but like you get to see like the outside. I I didn't notice this until the third time around, but um at, like all of the porches and s- outcroppings where you can sit and all of that. I just really like that idea, like just all of mm-hmm. the like trees and such that you could climb. And then he saw people climbing around them. His thoughts during while he was in the library were just like hilarious. Throughout the entire time, yeah. I like this. That'd be like, cool to see. yeah, like um, the straight ahead were stories about creepy sounds. Another sign pointed to the left and said "stories with treasures," and then to the right it said "stories with bittersweet endings, bittersweet endings and true stories." If you dare, the lowest sign read "signpost number two. Yeah, I mean, we it's it's like <laughs> the lower <laughs> sign signpost number two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. The histories of piracy by pirates' wives. And yes. Histories of your countries you'll never visit. Just, like, I it love sounds the sections. So awesome. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just like you. I love it. I just wish the um, uh, like we had those in like actual libraries, like all of the like <laughs> specific ones because number two. all of the yeah. other ones, like that's just 
it's very funny, but I wish it was real in real life. It would be yeah. it would make searching for things in actual library much easier. But obviously, much we have. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be funny in this book because it would be That's used point. to it. Yeah, then he'd be like, wow. guys, what if they put size 16 text on a piece of paper and slapped it on a bookshelf? <laughs> Wouldn't that sound cool? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what, what would happen. If... Man, imagine oh, well. if they sort them by number. <laughs> Whoa. What, what do they do? The Dewey Decimal System. You guys yeah, have heard of them? Oh. Oh, you'd be like, oh. Hey, guys, you mean. imagine it. Oh. <laughs> I'll be testing. Yeah. Yawn. You'll be testing on it next week. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Library. We all love libraries. I love the library. I haven't been to a library in a long time. Same. It's all right. I I get plenty of books. A from moment y'all of to read silence every week. for libraries. <laughs> Tanner's like your library now. He basically gives. Yeah, Tanner's basically my library. <laughs> a moment of silence for libraries during COVID. Our moment of silence is over because Tanner <laughs> never goes to a library ever. He has a full digital library in like a 15 uh, section bookshelf in his home. Yeah, but so a real like, library is better if he's got like actual books in there and you can just go. Yeah, Tanner's like, it. imagine if Kindle had signposts in the wrap. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> that was really bad, Cooper. I'm sorry. I'm Still sorry. pretty funny. Uh, oh, this is one of my favorite parts here. Um, ready when you are, Rudrick said to Nia without even a glance at the children. He grinned at her in a way that made Janner feel a little embarrassed, though Nia didn't seem to mind at all. She let out what Janner would have called a giggle if he didn't know any better. <laughs> Nia Wingfeather didn't giggle. Like, that's yeah. so great. Yeah. I just <laughs> cringed. Yeah. I cringed I like, the entire Whoa. time I listened to yeah, that. Yeah, I know, it's cringy, but it's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. That's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. What do you guys think about Nia and Rudrick together, huh? First of all, it's kind of awkward. It's Rudrick, and uh, um, it it was kind of cheesy, really cheesy, like that entire segment. Yeah, like it got on my nerves every time they brought through that. That's true. I have a very specific taste. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. (laughs) Tanner's like, (laughs) we know. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Actually, it seems to be pretty broad. No. (laughs) <laughs> Are you finished giggling? Because if I didn't know any better, you guys don't giggle. No, we do it's giggle. Giggling we is giggle straight out laughing. It's not giggling, it's straight out laughing. Oh man. Oh man. Alright. Oh, that was great. Reckoning for the bunch. We Real already great. talked about that. That was oh, good. No, that's good. That was good. My favorite oh. scene in the entire series, just right there. That little yep, snapshot. Great scene. Great scene. Um, okay, ooh. I don't want. I want. I don't want you guys to spoil anything for me. But in the future of this series, are there any more uh, instances where he just becomes like a real throne warden like that? Just yes. There. Or no. Don't don't. There tell me are like specific. absolutely one T five like the entire book. book. Don't I mean, tell me anything else. Don't tell like, me anything. There's else. the part. Right, guys. Oh, okay. Don't tell him anything else. Like Warden the Wolf King, though, is like all of Janner's oh, accepting his responsibility. You know, okay. as Warden. As Warden. That, that he was pretty epic. Then. He was yeah. grabbing so- two swords out of his uh, sheaths and then just swinging in circles. Dude. That was a bit Dude. of an exaggeration, no, like, but that didn't that didn't happen. That didn't happen. <laughs> um, what do you guys I think about the the Palaver and Goli Saloon? I thought that was funny. Just two farmer idiots just talking together about hog bedlets and I was like oh, <laughs> it is kind of it's funny how like all the other animals over in uh, the green hollows are all like normal animals there's there's goats there's sheep there's you know uh, dogs and then there's hog piglets <laughs> yep. it's like just call them pigs bro oh, yeah man. I know it ain't rockets or hogs yeah it's funny snick buzzards ugh Aye, terrible mean, razor sharp beaks, talents like daggers, and the worst part? Yes, yes, Lenry and Poto Patty ass. Belly button. Belly button. <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, the worst part. The belly Not button. On a I can just imagine Poto saying that. The yeah. belly button. Not on a bird. <laughs> yes. No, no. Not on a bird, no. That could not happen ever. Yeah. Would you guys? So I. S- a lesson in sneakery. I think that's probably one of my favorite chapters in the book, definitely, and maybe in the whole series. Maybe not in the whole series, but that, isn't that the one where they're uh, d- doing the apples? Yes, the, we, talk, the we talked about it yeah. last week. 
But, I mean, yeah. It was still a great no, part. No, we talked about it right now. No, we talked about it last week, too. Hello, no, Isaiah. No, we just talked about it in this one with saying beating him with a stick and Matthew says, you know, the dude comes over. That one. Oh, that was... And he's like, we look good in black, oh, don't yeah. we? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. We did talk yeah. about it in this one. Not last week, this week. Isaiah's got the timeline in his head. That's right. Tenor, dude. sorry. Are we going to say something? Yeah, I got a really big editing job. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, the one step bonus. All right, Tanner, sorry, were you going to say something? I was I not. A bonus. I don't even have a payment. Yep, that's true. <laughs> he doesn't get paid. <laughs> hey, we're we trying don't talk to, about that. Feels we're like trying to make this self sustaining, Isaiah, so you just kind of got to wait for a little bit. We're attempting to make this self sustaining right now. That's right. Hey, and if you want to help us out with that, it's self sustaining. If you want to help us out with that, make we sure. Don't, we don't point any fingers. We don't point any fingers. I was going to say, oh. go to patreon.com forward slash booking. Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, we just recorded Tanner. a uh, Peter and Imbo episode. If you guys want to go listen to that, donate. Two ten dollars we'll a month. It. That's right. Yes, yeah, just we just recorded it. It's going to be a great episode. Great book. And, and it's only part really one, so you're going to have to donate too. for two months or more for them. Yep, that's right. <laughs> uh, oh, so <laughs> Andrew Peterson kind of left a trail of breadcrumbs throughout the whole book. Like... Bread qualms throughout the whole book with like Calma leaving the bed and not yes. being there. Did you ever guess what he was yeah, up he to? Was oh bread. yeah, oh yeah. That he was the, like the most obvious thing. Yes. Yeah. He was eating food. You put two and two together. Yeah. I no mean, way. I I'm, I know I'm not. You can like, do that, Tanner. But <laughs> <Okay>. like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. That, yeah. It's true. Yeah. You, I think you're just kind of like in self denial. You're like. You're like, come on, it couldn't be Kalmar. Come on, please. not. Kalmar. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, Tanner, was this the time that you uh, predicted what would happen whenever Kalmar was, like, sneaking out of bed or someone was stealing chickens, and did you predict that it was Kalmar? Uh, yes, I did. It was extremely obvious. It was just very, um, uh, it, it was a very easily followed trail of breadcrumbs. It looked like a full baguette to Wet me. Wetquams. That's, that's the other thing. It looks like a full baguette. Yeah, that t-shirt. It's a full baguette. <laughs> but it's actually a pretty good yes. quote. Yes. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, what else are we talking about? Oh, yeah. So we, pr- we Trail that. Trail of breadcrumbs oh. that, that looked yeah. like a full baguette. It looked like a full baguette. You know, it didn't like a full ba- look like a full baguette. That chicken that um, came right. But, yes, I, I, did, yep. I did predict that part. A little bit after Poto started talking about, and er, Poto and those other two guys at the bar started talking about the things going missing, and then it was super obvious as soon as, like the first time, Janner uh, heard him stop breathing. But I'd kind of already yeah. guessed by then, but that kind of just confirmed Definitely. it. Someone stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. he wasn't there, Janner's, so he wasn't Janner, breathing. Janner, I bet Maybe Janner was, was like, "Oh no, there. Kelmer's not breathing. He's dead." Instead of, "Oh no, he's not here." You know, I bet you that's what he's thought. But he was so exhausted, he, he just went to sleep. <laughs> he's like, why didn't, why didn't? Yeah, his brother, he, his brother stops breathing or he stops hearing his breath. He's like, well, okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bed. That's really what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. I sleep with my brother. Yeah, I know. I was like, why didn't you I sleep just with check my brother? Him? And if I hear him stop breathing, I go and check because he snores like a <laughs> lot. Yeah, that's what Kalmar did, and Janner still. I would have just been happy with yeah. him to stop snoring. He'd have been like, "Oh, he stopped snoring, <laughs> the slob. Good." <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> I wouldn't do that. Okay. For all those that did not know. All right, um, all right, okay. I'm about okay, to ask anyways, you a question. Hey, focus up, focus ask up. You a we question. got a lot to cover in the next ten minutes. Honestly. What would you have done if you were yeah. a hollow folk, and what would you have done to Kalmar based on the circumstances? I probably wouldn't have accepted him just like they didn't. Yeah, you, no, like, they sorry, like, arrested him. Yeah. No, you mean, like, if we exactly. found out about him stealing the last Oh, I would have arrested him for sure. What would you have? Probably. Unless I was Rudrick <laughs> and I liked his mom, then I probably Yeah, but Rudrick wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, I would have slept Boy, less. Ju- if you. Yeah, exactly. I would oh, have slept true, next to a machete every day. Uh, that's yeah, what I would have done. Like, their whole lives are just running from the fangs. Yeah. And hiding from them. Um, would you. Did you got what would you have done as a hollow's folk if you thought that Kalmar had eaten the baby or Freva's baby? Uh, killed him. Probably yeah, killed yeah. him. Hanged him. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, it's like. Except they didn't kill him because he's alive. <laughs> but there's not a lot of evidence, <laughs> was there? Yeah. Actually, on a side note, what do you think about Rudrick and Nia going to get married, huh? 
We already talked about it a little bit, but cringe factor, cringe factor, yeah. cringe factor. Uh, yeah, right. What? Cringe factor. I understood. I understood how Jenner uh, felt about it. Like this, that that just seemed like Jenner, just like not e- not even really thinking about Rudrick, but just like immediately thinking about like what it meant about All right. what his mom meant about his father, I guess. Yeah. Yep. And then you got all upset. Um, what did you guys think about the Chumpley Amendment? Was that funny? That was very I funny. What was that again? What you cannot kill. You cannot. Oh, uh, for Isaiah, I liked it. Um, but for Isaiah, I was just saying you cannot. Um, a ki- You cannot kill members of royalty. You must banish them. That's right. Oh yeah. Okay. That's funny. Oh. Uh, You must have banished them. Yeah. <laughs> banished the whole baguette. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Banished the whole baguette. Breadcrumb, um. Breadcrumbs the size of baguettes, guys. That's what that was. <laughs> Just like right. a huge, large baguette. Oh, yeah. So what would you think about the floored sword and Artham rescu- <laughs> rescuing Sarah Cobbler? Oh. I did not thou featherless. To quote Tanner. <laughs> woo <laughs> <laughs> you mean in the words of Tanner Lewis? Yeah, sorry. In the words of Tanner Lewis, about 15 minutes ago. Woohoo! That's right. <laughs> At least that's what I heard of him saying. Yeah, it was it was pretty hot. I was yeah. waiting for that kind of the whole book that's ever right. since Janner talked to Artham. I didn't expect there to be so much other uh, like coverage chapters covering the yeah. um, stuff going on. At the Fork Factory before that. Mm-hmm. I thought it would just be like a chapter about that You're or like, something. And they freed the prisoners. Yeah. Done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Which, now that you think about it, is also a lot like huh. Peter Nimble. Yep. Yeah. You know, because right. they were all... They, you know, they freed right. all those people working down there. Yep. And they freed the for ravens the crows, from the uh, just desserts. Or desserts yeah, roving. Desserts. <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah. I want to say something on this, but I can't. I have to save it for either the warden and the wolf king, or it will be so. Or the, or the, the closing king. episode. There you go, Isaiah. So. Tally. Hey, Tanner, this better be a good three episode. Episodes. Warden the wolf king. Yeah, you're talking it up. All you've said, all three episodes before then, or all three books, is just you got to save some stuff for that. So yeah. you, you're going to be just. I will. So you guys are just going to need it. good. Ooh, be boy. ready to mute yourselves and just set yourselves on hold for a Tanner lecture. Yeah. What? No, just let, just sit <laughs> no, back, um, a cu- cup of coffee, you know, my fuzzy socks on, just let Tanner take the whole episode from us. Take a nap. Yeah, Isaiah. <laughs> I have fuzzy socks. You don't have fuzzy socks. <laughs> I'm I'm even cooler. I have slippers. I mean, Cooper has fuzzy socks. Tanner has slippers, fuzzy that's right. slippers too. I mean, that's, right. that's just cool. Um, I have house shoes. Anyway, so I think we talked about last time or this time. I can't remember, but I just am fuzzy. Oh my gosh. Like, is anybody else? Did we ever say? Did we predict that the cloven? Or sorry, that Bonifer was bad. Uh, uh. I just started getting I, into I, like kind of did. Secret I didn't really bad. like. I didn't predict it. I just thought that if anyone Mm -hmm. was going to turn bad it was him because he was kind of just like that character that wasn't totally necessary for the good side of the story you know that he He was just trying to please everyone and try to be like he was set basically he was set up in the way that he could easily be turned into a bad guy which i just recognize from millions of other stories but uh but i i mean he he definitely could have still been good if you know if uh he chose to yeah Andrew That's Peterson. Right. If Andrew Peterson chose to, yeah, to, I saw uh, I saw a glimpse yeah. of that, but it wasn't really like sufficient enough to make me kind of predict it. It was not. He was very sly in that he kept like a whole lot of background stuff secret for him, for until the War and the Wolf King actually, but um, it, he kept most of his background just hidden, and then that helped yeah. for love. Yeah. One of my favorite scenes is when, like, the fangs oh. are there, you know, and then Lily sees her dog, and then Rudrick's like, Oh, hey, Lily, he found me. And that was one of my favorite scenes. I was like, that's what a man would do. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love you oh, trying hey, to do Lily, a Rudrick voice. He found <laughs> me. Yeah. 
Let's just say Cooper's voice. You have ain't not heard deepest. Andrew Peterson. Oh, no. This is my real voice. Voices. I just talk <laughs> like this all the time, just to kind of. Anyway, we we know. We, we know. <laughs> hey, oh guys, have you actually heard the real song "My Love Has Gone Across the Sea"? I have actually. My sisters sing it every day. I hey, they were actually amen, singing that right, a few minutes right, ago. Right, my sister learned to play it on the piano, and I can play it on the piano. I mean, oh, <laughs> whoa. Oh no! What hey, man. just just yeah, because yeah. my sisters wanted me to help them. That's okay. Oh yeah, sure, sure. But sure. anyway, oh, says that it's actually, yeah, 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 it's actually, yeah, yeah. it's actually quite <laughs> pretty. Do you guys ever, do you guys read it, or do you just kind of skip over it? I mean, I listened to like the whole thing. Like, okay, so history. I'm one of those weirdos that kind of skips over poetry. I actually skip over every single poem in um. The Lord of the Rings. Not joking, except for the important one. That is one hundred percent. You literally true. I mean, said I in the Hobbit episode. I mean, no, I love the. I love the, po- the poetry. I love to the. I love. I read the Misty Mountains, but I didn't it's read true. anything else. That was the only one that I did. No, you said you love all poetry in Lord of the Rings. That was after Hobbit. going. And you said you love no, poetry like, in general. I s- that was the. Um, uh, can I clarify, please, without yeah. anybody talking over me? Okay, sure. so yes. my thing is, I love poetry and the lord of the rings after i went back to it like when i originally yeah, read true. it i just skipped over it because it was just like going forever and ever yeah. and i was like i want to get to the storyline yeah. so i skipped over it for the second time through when i saw how Same. important it was i reread it so that's yeah when i reread it like that I yeah. that's explaining it but um i did read i did <laughs> i only skip it when it's like super long but i did read through um the songs in the wing feather saga like just when it's because in tom bombadil i good. really did skip it, it. Like, nobody needs to read Tom Bombadil's poetry. I'm sorry, Tolkien. <laughs> and what type of name is that? I Tom know, right? Bombadil? What? Anyway, <laughs> what do you guys think about Esben's epic run? I really like that. Sing the song of the ancient stones and the blood of the beast imbues no, no. your bones. Oh, yeah, that's a good part, too. Let's talk about that. What do you guys... What do you guys... Oh, oh, wow. Oops, sorry, just, beast. Tanner just what quoting. You, like what do you guys think <laughs> about, like, the artham has been connection and the sing the songs part? Yeah, I liked it. It was very, um, a, like, heartwarming one. Like, it was, it was sad, but it was, like, heartwarming for some reason. It just yeah. kind of, like... It's sad at first, and then it just kind of gradually goes into heartwarming, like how, like, Artham is just going there, like, sing, just, like, yeah. screaming, and the merrily and it, um, is, oh, come on, name skip me. Come on, help me out. Sarah Cobbler. Sarah Cobbler. Came back to me. Oh. Mm. Okay, so, when... S- you forgot her name. Stop. Huh? It's not like I have a crush on her sure. or anything. So <laughs> Yeah, totally not. Ooh. <laughs> totally not the one. <laughs> you're, you're pretty bad at sarcasm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. We'll stop teasing. All right. We'll, we'll stop teasing. We got to finish this book. What do you guys yeah, think about thinking. Esben's, like, epic run? As, like, he gets injured, then he smacks people down. He gets injured, then he smacks some more people or fangs down. So basically, he almost dies. Sings a song. He's like, "Oh, I'm over. I'm super powered." Now. I yeah, think I about, I think about the Hulk. <laughs> just going, the entire thing I was doing, thinking about that. I was just thinking about the Hulk before he got turned into, um, so, a half smart Hulk, half unsmart Hulk. Yeah, it's just so stupid. But the Hulk never really yeah. got. I mean, he only did like once where he actually got like completely True. destroyed and could True. almost died. Anyway. Back to a monster in the hollows. That was against Thanos. The power of songs in this book. The, ba- the yeah, power I mean, of songs in this book is... Like, and you I haven't even serious, seen yeah. half of it, Matthew. Like it half of it. Yeah. With this... With, nope, with this... Another reference to Warden and the Wolf King. I should really just stop talking because I'm never <laughs> going to this... the end of nope. Warden the Wolf King. Oh, in the okay. words of Tanner J. No, Lewis. it's actually Warden James T. Lewis. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, whatever. um... What was I gonna say? I think we learn in this series like words have power, just like in Harry Potter. Ah, oh, dang it, just kind of like that, you know. But anyway, <laughs> anything else to say about Monster in the Hollows? Yeah, um, yeah I just lo- really loved how much um the very Favorite end so bled into the neck, the yeah. last, the the Warren and the Wolf King. The how the Monster in the, the Hollows. Hollows just really like yeah. it bled and. By the way, we're at nine tally count for Warden and the Wolf King set, uh, times ten. Oh, yeah. It, nice. Well, we're at the end, so I kind of have to. It just yeah, kind no, of okay. leads It leads into the... Uh, well, come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
<laughs> it leads into um, uh, the War and the Wolf King so well because he Definitely. just leaves you on kind of these cliffhangers like when uh, um, uh, like when Janner was super puzzled oh, about boy, um, Boniface that. Scroon when he said, I did it for love and all of that. Yeah. Like, And then Definitely you just kind part. of like all of that. He just keeps like he kind of leaves you on an edge for like a few minor things that actually prove to be extremely important later. More on that later. But right. um, it, they just... It really bleeds very well. I think he, I think he picked up his pen after finishing that one and went straight to the War and the Wolf King. I'm sure he did, as he had a lot to do. All right, one more question for Matthew, and we'll be doing our shout outs. Matthew, so how how compared to like when you tried to read it like for the very first time, how how much are you liking the Wing Feather Saga so far? Just kind, of, just like, just kind of give an update of like rank? how much you like it. I, it's mm-hmm. definitely getting better with every book. Like I said, it would. I still, I mean, it's definitely <laughs> still, whatever I say, it's still definitely not my favorite, <laughs> yeah. like, series of all time. But it's, I think there's, like, a lot of good components about it. Just being good quality book, g- great wording, like, uh, yeah. Uh, just a great storyline, everything we've talked about. And it makes it, uh, makes it a good That's right. book. Oh, yeah. And with that, we in our shout outs. Alrighty. Isaiah, what would someone wanna do? Yes. I'll, I'll tell what you. What are we gonna, what so are we Isaiah, do this time? What would someone wanna do if they yeah. wanted to do our shout out? Uh they'd have to go to patreon.com forward slash book in it and then from there they can choose any of our That's four right. tiers. Lowest one being five dollars and uh highest one That's being fifty dollars. All of them That's give right. you a shout and out. And the link is included in the description below. Alrighty guys, so this time for our donors, yeah. when I say the patron name, you guys are gonna say whether they would be a green fang or a gray fang. What about spider? What? No. Spider. Green fang or a gray fang? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tanner, you going to go first? Sure. So, Mr. Sebastian, you get to be a gray fang. Mr. Sebastian, gray fang. All right, Isaiah, you get your grandparents. Uh, they'll be green. Alrighty, Matthew, Nana. Uh, she'll be gray. All right, Tanner, Van Pappy, and Wayla. Uh, they both get to be gray. gray. <laughs> nice. And then uh, we have oh Becky. Who's Becky? Becky will be a gray. Gray thing. Alrighty, guys. Until next time. Keep on keep booking on booking it. it. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay, okay let's try ready? it again. Ready? Three, two. One. Keep, Keep on, on booking. Guys, come on. No, no, no. Okay, we're we'll next time. Ready? Ready? I got it. Got one. It. Three, two, two one. one. Keep, Keep on, on booking. Keep on. Guys, oh my what God. are you doing?